had enough of your same old daily routine and now all you want is to get off the grid actually you can you can travel to a really cool destination and while you do plan out to carry all the essentials with you do not forget to also install a good translation app on your phone as well but you see these apps need an active internet connection and internet doesn't come cheap whenever you're traveling abroad right right but what if you install a translation app that works offline as well hello everyone i'm aman from gadgets 360 and you're watching office space our series dedicated to making your life with office apps much easier in this video i'm going to show you five of the best offline translation apps that you can download right now whether you're on android or ios before i start please go ahead and subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet and do hit that bell icon as well so that you're notified whenever a brand new video drops now let's get started I know you saw that coming but come on can we really make a best translation apps video without even mentioning google translate i don't think so google translate doesn't need any introduction it is one of the best and most versatile translation apps out there in my opinion and the best part about it is the fact that the app works offline as well salut comment allez-vous At the moment, you get up to 59 languages with offline support, though you can connect to the internet and work with more languages. Of course, before you start using offline translation, you need to make sure to download your desired language pack from offline translation found in settings. While there are a few modes present such as camera, conversation and transcribe, these only work with an active internet connection. Bonjour. Another good translation app that has been around for quite a while now is Microsoft Translator. Featuring a clean and a minimalistic UI, at the moment Microsoft Translator lets you choose between 47 languages which support offline translation. Of course, before using the offline translation feature, you will need to download the language packs by going to offline languages in settings. Besides, you can also extend the app's functionality by adding it as a native tool in the Outlook Mail app. This feature comes in handy whenever you want to quickly translate an email in your language of choice. However, this feature only works online. Apart from this, text translations work absolutely fine in offline mode, but it would have been cooler if we could have used voice translation in offline mode as well. Apple recently launched its native translation app for all its devices running iOS 14 and while this one is pretty new in the translation space, it packs quite a punch. Hear me out. Before we go any further, do note that this app is an iOS exclusive which means it is not available on Android. With that said, Apple's translation app lets you do quick text and voice translations between languages. I know as of now the app only supports up to 12 offline languages but the good part is that unlike Google's or Microsoft's offering, Apple's Translate can do voice translations offline as well. Hola, ¿cómo estás? This means you can also save your offline translations in favorites and play it whenever you need it. Bienvenidos a todos. iTranslate is one of the best all-round translation apps that you can find right now on both Android and iOS. It comes with support of up to 38 offline languages. The only catch is offline translation is a paid feature. Paid plans start at 349 rupees a month on iOS and 320 rupees a month on Android. And as I mentioned a few moments ago, you will need to shell out for the subscription fee if you want offline translations. 
but if you do opt for the paid version you also get features such as lens and ar mode that basically let you do translations based on image recognition and augmented reality While the app does support quite a few popular languages offline, Hindi is not one of them, at least for now. The good part is, just like Apple's Translate app, this one can also do both text and voice translations offline. Bonjour, comment vas-tu? If you're looking for one of the best translation apps that does offline translation with a focus on Asian languages, look no further than Papago. Papago only supports a total of up to 13 languages for translation and since the app has been developed by a South Korean company, it heavily focuses on Asian languages with offline support only available for Korean, Japanese and Chinese languages which by the way is free of cost. Apart from this, you don't really get the ability to do real-time voice translations in offline mode. However, you can still play the audio of the original text as well as the translated text. And these were some of the best translation apps that you can check out on both Android and iOS. Hit the thumbs up if you like this video and do share it with others. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and for all things tech, log on to gadgets360.com. See you next Tuesday.